All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. Action stations, lads. And you know what? This is what the open ocean looks like. There are two cap circles in the open ocean. This is how a great deal, <laughs> if not most, of the naval battles in the Pacific look like. Maybe not this calm, but quite frankly, this was how many land masses were, you know, in the theater of battle. And, um, yeah, so we're taking out the Gremiashi, I believe it's pronounced a Soviet tier 5 ship. Now, there are three Soviet ships in the game. Uh, you've got the Aurora, which I believe was tier 3 cruiser. And then you've got the Murmansk, which is tier 5 cruiser. This is tier 5 destroyer. The Murmansk, I believe, is just... are almost exactly like the Omaha. We'll have to look to see if there's any subtle differences. So, uh, this is going to be really interesting to see what happens. Honestly, uh, I've never played an open water map before. There's no... I really have to use my concealment, I think, to kind of play effectively. Now, the enemy doesn't have any carriers, so this could be pretty interesting. Man, no. No, they are playable, or at least you can play against them. They're tasking Hetum. You like that spelling error? I do too. But yeah, they were asking about the uh, spaceships. But, um, oh, here we go. We've got a Congo sighted. Now he's going right at me. I don't know the speed that they're going at which, but I know that my surface detectability range... Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm sighted. Gremiashi! Oh, man. So this is going to be a little shootout. Oh, wow, really? That hit was critical. Alright, let's turn away. Casey dropped torps. His torps are just like mine. We are, in fact, the same ships, but he got sighted. So as long as I stay out of those battleships' really effective hitting range, we should be fine. These turrets take a while to traverse, though, I've noticed. Let's get some guns on this guy. I don't really want to shoot torpedoes that way. What the tits, man? He is just hitting critical components, and I'm not sure if he's even really... Well, he's gonna go down, though. Should have waited for that shot. Let's repair this. Alright, perfect. Wow, just missing. Problem solved, sir. You see that? That missed. We got a critical hit. Helped take him down. Things got pretty intense. This is... Literally my first time he got some uh, vengeance torpedoes off. I want to cite that Pensacola and uh, actually this Fuso. Look at all these just destroyer smoke screens. So we've knocked out a destroyer. I lost it. Looks like 1500 health somewhere around there. So Pensacola, is he firing at me? No, he's firing over. Good. So these, this Cleveland and the Pensacola are going that way. Uh, I've not seen a lot of, of scout planes, and I think you really want to use them, especially in the open water, because I've got a surface detectability range of 7 kilometers. I can stay outside of range, and as long as um, I kind of get in front of them, if I head these guys off, I can put some torpedoes in their way. What the shit? Oh, friendly torpedoes. Ugh. So let's rotate those. And you know what? These these should do fine. I'm not sure if they're gonna do anything. If they're gonna hit, oh, the Grim, uh, second governor Gremiashi spotted me. But I believe that these ships were designed by the Italians. A little in front, little in front. Okay. Rotating. Got to make sure we're safe. Look like any torpedo hits? No, they're peeling off, it looks like. I'm not sure. I doubt any of those are gonna hit. Wake up, guys! Open your eyes! We got a critical damage. Nice maneuvering on 
Mr. Blood and Guts, 69. The other 68 were in fact taken. He saw me and uh, moved out of the way. <laughs> Destroyer's just running amok, man. This is like where you really see... Oh, here we go. Poor Nicholas. What are you doing, cutie? Boom, got him. So that was just minimap awareness. There's a Sims over here. Let's put some torpedoes in his way. Incoming torpedoes, we're gonna dodge those and get guns back on target. Trust that we maneuvered accordingly. He's gonna maneuver off so those torpedoes we dumped were a little wasted. Getting some hits still. Looks like we're going to be trading shots Nagato. Going to be passing. Man, I tell you what. The, uh, are we going to... Yeah, we're fine. Start rotating the turrets back around. For my first battle on open seas, it is thrilling. It is very thrilling. And it looks like our team is doing a pretty good job. I think destroyers are pretty important. They may not be as effective early game, but I think they're going to be really effective later in the game. I can't really see that sun. So I'm trying to get some shots on that Nagato. I think I'm outside of almost everybody's view range. Oh my gosh, that sun's just really intense. Okay, I'm not... At, what? No? Yeah. Fire some chills down there. 130 millimeters. What's up, babies? Oh, that's scout plane. Now, this thing has pretty decent anti-aircraft. I expect to shoot that thing down. Nope. Nah. Not today. What do we say to death? Oh, torpedoes launched on that Fuso. Can we add to it? Yeah, we can. Ooh, torpedo hit. On who? Over there. The Nagato. Good. That was who we were aiming for. Now this Gremia, she is in range. Probably shouldn't have fired a full salvo. Now we've got this guy. Turn away. Holy shit. Were we just not paying attention? It's time to drop smoke, ladies and gentlemen. I can't trust being up here all alone. But that Fuso is a prime target for torpedoes. And I do. I do love using torpedoes. So we're going to cut tail and run. Drop off some torps. 21 seconds. Till... I'm not firing them in, you know, single batches. So i got to wait for the audio, like auditory click. Pretty sure. He's dodging them. The Fusas are relatively agile. Especially if you got the rudder upgrade. Four seconds, and I'm gonna dump off some more. Here we go. Yeah, still waiting on that second batch. All right, time to dip out of here. We've been smoke screens gone. You can see Mr. Fuso's a little angry with our torpedoes, but there's a friendly smoke screen over there we can use. Assuming we survive, took some hits, minor hits from a. I think it was the Pensacola, maybe. If we're sighted, we might as well get some shots off. Now let's see our range. That Omaha is within five kilometers of us. Torpedo on the Fuso? Nope, doesn't look like it. Looks like he was able to maneuver it. The things have kind of evened out as far as the things. The number of ships each person has has evened out. They actually have the advantage right now. Getting shots shot at us. Omaha's hungry. Dodging him. So let's... Ooh, that was a big hit from someone. I would really want to fire these torpedoes off. And... I don't know what's up with the torpedoes, man. It seems like it's, it's off today. I'm so used to doing doubles. There we go, we got a torpedo hit. Nicolasso. We'll, we'll take a look at what he was after. There we go. Nicolasso. 
He was- oh, we sank a Fuso. That's what's up, ladies and gentlemen. That is what's up. Battleship down. Enemy battleship founder. Don't you love the voices they use? Alright, so there is someone isolated way over there. So now it's just time to encircle these guys. Or loop back. So what? We've got two ships to our name. First open water map battle. I think I do much better at it. It's easier. It's more easy to account for now. I actually wasn't sighted by that uh, scout plane because I have to be. He has to be within 3.6 kilometers. This Nagato is prime and ready. But someone else dumped torpedoes on him, so I might want to wait and make sure I'm not going to run into anybody. Looks like. Assuming Omaha, you can see if he stops, right? If he goes full stop. And let's put some let's put some shells into him. H E. He might yeah, he's gonna go down, I think. He's got a lot of salvos coming after him. Fire an H E low at the waterline on a Nagato. That seems rather futile. And 102 damage. Proves that. He's dead. Torpedoes were wasted, but ladies and gentlemen, we've got more. And there are only four ships left. A Cleveland. Now that guy's someone who could mess me up if he spotted me. It's now... Ooh, where's that scout plane coming? He's coming this way. I'm probably going to get sighted by him. Tell you what, these scout planes... Ooh, I think he... Nope, nope, he wasn't destroyed. Uh, I am in sight of these guys now. And I've got 17 seconds left. Congo and Cleveland. I really need to shoot that thing down. If one of these guys shoots at me, I'm gonna drop smoke. And I'm gonna zigzag. So, I don't know. Oh, yikes. Woo! That's what's up, big guys. Alright, so that Cleveland's sneaking over. He's very maneuverable, though. Enemy base capture. Alright, that's good. So we've started that. They're gonna have to come back in. That means I can head off this Congo and hopefully put some torpedoes into him. I do not want to mess with the Cleveland. That's for sure. So we're gonna kinda... How do we get... We've got 8 kilometers range. We don't want to get sighted. There is a scout plane out there. I think we're gonna win this one. Two kills and Omaha's got three. That's... Pretty impressive. Tier 5. So the Soviet Murmansk was a, uh, a Cleveland. Or excuse me, not a Cleveland. Was an Omaha. Oh, got sighted. We are in view range of that Cleveland. So we're going to start zigzagging. Got to really, really be aware. Yep. Alright, and then I kind of see, uh, have a general idea. <laughs> yeah, see? Tell you what, man, those scout planes are so important. Um, hmm. We're not capping. It looks like our team wants to finish off the enemy. So I'm going to go for the easier target, which actually is the battleship for me. Cruisers are destroyer killers. Now that Sims is going to try to mess them up. Looks like we have this Omaha running away. That is our champion right now, Mr. Mr. Hat Trick. Cleveland's just running for it. He's running for the cap. So I'm going to kind of spam the map and say, hey, someone do that. Honestly, let's see. What's that battleship doing? Nagato's racing for it. He should be able to handle the Cleveland. Now we are sighted by this Congo, given that scout plane. Now I'm pretty sure I'm out of range. So we got to get a feel for where he's going. Please turn left. That's what I want you to be doing. Yes. Perfect. I'm gonna fire some shells. Yeah, we're switching to eight. We're already at AP. Was I firing H earlier? Cleveland's still trying to get a little frisky. He's in the smoke screen. Used Mr. Sims smoke screen. And Sims is against the wall, quite literally, over there. If he was sighted, he'd probably get one shotted by Mr. Congo. Congo's coming in. Now, I don't really know what that Sims is going to do, or if this Congo is going to deviate. Sims is dropping off torpedoes. I'm sighted by the plane anyway, so we're going to take some shots. 
get some experience. Pivot a little to port so we get all of our batteries. Alright. Sims is still alive. Can't really see through the smoke. Is he gonna ram him? What's happening? Alright, now we can fire torpedoes. Oh, I hope he didn't cut throttle. Oh, he's turning in. Should have waited. I'm within sight of secondaries this time. Oh man, if I don't get a torpedo hit, that's just that's just my own fault. Secondary hit our steering. Secondary is opening up like crazy. And we've got 38 seconds. The game's probably gonna be over. Now I don't wanna die, because that would that would be really crappy. Oh man, they penned? Oh, someone got out. Okay. We may have a opportunity just yet. We are sighted. This is really... We can't afford to just drive in a straight line. Sail in a straight line. He's in our smoke. But we've got a scout plane. I'm not sure how scout planes interact with smoke. We've got five seconds. Once he's sighted, I'm going to drop my first salvo and wait. On the second one. There he is. Were those my... Yeah, was that triggering my... And now... What's he... Is he gonna thread them? Oh my gosh, he is. Two hits. Can't see him, though. He's still in our smoke. Oh, and if he hits us once... And he's got us down the line, so, I mean... This is tricky. But we've got an incoming battleship. There he is. Oh crap! But there's some torpedoes that are looking good. Secondary's opening up. Friendly battleship opening up. Hopefully he's not looking for an easy last kill and we can at least land one of these torpedoes. Maybe two? Looks like one. Let's finish him off. Oh, he didn't get finished off, but you know what? Ah, I blame it on bad torpedoes that first time around. So this was a victory. So I got 1.5 for my first victory in my Gremiashi. And I also am uh, sailing a premium ship. So we got a retarded amount of everything. 200,000 silver. 3,500. 3,500 XP. 177 free XP, but this is a premium ship, and there's no real other non-premium Soviet ships, so there's that. Three torpedo hits. I would have liked to have got a bit more. How do we do for our team? Only f good enough for fourth place. Very, very close to third, despite our two ships sunk. Hats off to Mr. Amasigan, who was sailing the uh, Tier 5 Omaha in just a game of giants, really. And he got three kills out of it and survived. So props to him. 24,000 damage off three torpedoes. Uh, no planes shot down. This thing has a, a rating of eight for any aircraft. So even though it's bristling with guns, um, which I'll show you, it's, it's not that hot, you know? I would have thought in the amount of guns, but I guess it'd be hard to aim a 76 millimeter gun. I don't really know. What are you doing? I am playing World of Warships, Super Danger Man. So yeah, let's take a look at them stats, right? Concealment, maneuverability, any aircraft guns. So I think these are ratings out of 100. This thing's got pretty good. I still have yet to play a ship, I think, that has a better concealment rating than the Minikaze. We'll take a look at that. 5.9 kilometers, that is huge, especially when you count for the range of the torpedoes. That's what 10 kilometer range. I can easily stay, I can sneak in, dump my torpedoes off that have really, really good range, or I could alternatively go for ones that have seven kilometers range and an exceptional speed, but that is not what we're talking about. We're talking about the Gremiashi, but a quick comparison to other destroyers. Looks like I got some points to use for Vladimir Grigoriev. Vladimir Grigoriev. I wish I spoke Russian, but yeah, look at these anti-aircraft guns. So you've got um, 
these two single 12.7s, looks like one on either side. Then you've got the uh, dual 12.7s, they're both back here. And then you've got these big guys. We've got two, we've got some four 37 millimeter guns. Where's the other ones? No, show me another one, yeah. So they're kind of stationed. Oh, and it looks like one on the other side of the bridge. All right, pretty nice looking guns. And you've got these 76 millimeter guns right here in the back. Probably dual purpose guns. That's the thing about World of Warships in that I feel like, I don't know if we're ever really gonna get to use secondary guns. Um, and then they're not counted as secondaries, but I'm pretty sure, whoa, friends. Okay, I, I pressed right click. It is kind of a little funny dealing with it, but yeah. These things could s fire gun ships, man, if, if a destroyer got close. I would definitely be using those. Hell, I'd be using these 37s too. All right? Strafe, you know, some of the softer areas deal with crew and stuff. I mean, at least in real life, but this is more of a, a video game that focuses on balance and competition. So, but it's just kind of interesting when, especially when you get up to upper battleships, you know, when you have secondaries, tertiary, stuff like that. But anyway, let's get back to it. So here are the do the two triple torpedo launchers, which are similar to like the Japanese style in that you can fire off one side, they rotate fire off the other side, as opposed to Americans, which usually have some on the left side and some on the right side. Um, relatively quick reload time, and the torpedoes have a range of eight kilometers, which is decent. Uh, kind of slow speed at 55 knots, but really, really powerful damage at 14,400 maximum damage. Rate of fire seems all right, um, and you can get three upgrades on it. It's not bad, but let's take a look at some of the other Soviet ships in the fleet. We've got the Murmansk here, and this bad boy is armed with six 152 millimeter guns. Uh, oh, six singles and two doubles. Oh my god. This thing, are these the primaries? These are 152s. It has no main battery, main battery. Those are not secondaries. Let's just do a quick... Okay, yeah. Excellent. This thing is... Is this how the Omaha is too? Because that's what, you know, it is, right? USA! USA! Where's the Omaha? There you are. Yep, okay, same situation as the Omaha. It's been a while since I played it. So, Merman's gives you an Omaha. You can see the difference. This one looks a little nicer. It is premium. And you've got torpedo tubes. How many torpedoes we got? We've got two triple launchers. They're the same types as the, the Gremiashi has. Um, where are they located? So this thing could be pretty cool. It's got a scout plane. Yeah, there you go. One, two, where are the other ones? Located in the back of the ship. Where's two? Yep, we only got so you only got one f triple for each side. But eight 152 millimeter guns, and from the front, this thing's pretty powerful, especially if you're zigzagging. So you can get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You know, of those two, because you kind of have to rotate. So if you're going straight at someone, narrowing your profile, that'd be a pretty good effectiveness. And then swing out dump some torps on them and run I don't know it seems like a decent tactic and finally we have the Aurora which was kind of like I'd say this is like the love child ship of World of Warships when I had a press point with them in uh, PAX East they were saying like like why is there one Russian ship in the game and they're like well we kinda had to do it this thing sits outside the offices we see it every day it's a museum ship in uh, St. Petersburg Russia not my St. Petersburg Florida um, how's this one sitting? 14 152 millimeter guns. It kind of seems very, very similar to the St. Louis. It's a three stacker. Let's take a look at the St. Louis. So get kind of remember this visually. Let's take a look at Mr. St. Louis. Very similar. This one's a four stacker, a little higher it looks like. The guns, one, two, right there, two in the middle. Both tier threes. Tell you what, man, I definitely like the look of the Aurora better. 
But yeah, so that is the Soviet Navy right now. But you know what? Let's check out a little more action. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So we have the Aurora. Now it seems awfully similar to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we can get eight guns to bear. So this seems pretty similar to the St. Louis in that regard in terms of number of guns. Uh, size of guns and how many guns you can get per side. The difference is it's a Soviet ship. We've got a max speed of 20 knots um, and 22,500 health. I don't know exactly how much on the top of my head right now how much health that what do you call it the St. Louis has. Let's see our range of our 152s. Got a max range of about that guy. Got a waka taki over there. Reload rate is pretty quick. One critical hit, damage steering, two hits, two critically damaged actually on that Chikuma. We damaged him, I think we may have hit him in the back. Um, he's gonna have to use repair, so that's always good. Now he's with HE, so that's fantastic. Actually, you know what? If this guy's gonna poke, is he gonna poke? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna get over here then. Put all my guns to bear and take out Lord Erwin Rommel in a Wakataki. See, after uh, you know, kind of getting sidelined by Adolf, man, he he didn't really like just you know working on the Atlantic Wall. So let's get up in here. Wow, set him on fire, four hits. That was fantastic. All right, Shakuma's back in range. So I'm not really sure. We're kind of going through indecision, kind of figuring out what we want to do. Just kind of cover that area. He's at an a, a weird angle, and I feel like there may be a destroyer trying to sneak up with me, so I just want to get shots out there and focus on it later. I love the fire rate of this thing, man. I think I might like this better than St. Louis. Now, Mr. Chester is, is about to get wrecked, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to get one to find our range, and then we're going to unleash hell. Are we going to get hits? Oh, I feel like we are. He's got incoming torpedoes. We got a few hits. Lit him on fire. That guy's straight up dead. Torpedoes, ladies and gentlemen. Two ships are down. Oh, that fire rate. We spliced him. He turned. Pretty pretty smart guy. Turn away from the firepower that is the Aurora. We're going to just kind of blind fire. Hope to get hits. We are cruiser. We've got a quick rate of fire. St. Louis is sighted. Not hittable. Let's switch. May have lost the opportunity right there on the Wakataki. Let's get in. Turn in now. We've got this corner. Now it's all about fighting off these other guys. So, is this St. Louis a viable target? Yes, he is. Fire two. He's at full stop. Or trying to, anyway. We're at full speed. We've yet to lose a ship. Gonna get some nice hits there. Three hits. Just launch that full salvo. We've got... I think we can get maximum of three. Oh, dude, we're setting them on fire left and right. These high explosive rounds out of these Soviet 152s are good. He's backing up. He's like, holy tits, mate. We got torpedoes. And we've got Baron over there in an Aurora. And I'm just, like, critting this guy. It's, it's like my job, mates. Oh, we're hitting this cliff. Alright, so who's next? Kind of over-rotated there in our zeal. But that may work out well for us. Oh man, we lost him. The concealment range. Any hits? No the hits. Enemy team is taking the lead. Enemy team is taking the lead. We, we gotta get caps, man. We've taken out more ships. We've lost one now. St. Louis is still on the run. Quick rotate. I've got two destroyers incoming. Uh, so that means I'm going to be dodging torpedoes very soon. I think he might be trying to pre-torpedo that channel. Come on, take him out. Oh, near misses, man. 
Alright, full. How many guns can I get? Oh, shisa, dude. We're about to run into the whole enemy navy. This guy's coming back around. We got some hits. Critically damaged a turret. Oh, there he is. Took him out. I think we took our first shots right there. Oh, a little too far ahead. If we aimed a little bit more for the midsection, we could have gotten some pretty good hits. We are a destroyer killer. That's part of the cruiser's role. But yeah, one of the reasons why I decided to take out the Aurora and not the Murmansk, which... I like all the stories about Mermaid's Command. Like, I'm a big Axis Knowledge, like the strategic board game fan. Is he? He's not moving. You're so cute. But, I mean, I'm not going to complain. If you're going to let me do that. You may want to start moving, friend. <laughs> Alright, I'm pretty sure he's dead. That's right. Alright. So we're about to get this cap point. My entire fleet... An entire legion of my best men. You, sir, have been weighed. How are we going to do this? Without running into things. Good. This should work. Full broadside. Lit him on fire. Where's my guns at, mates? I need more guns. I need more guns. He got, what, torpedo to look like. Actually, let's do full reverse. So that we can fire on the St. Louis, who's going to be awfully close. Get a full broadside, a full eight gun salute. Hello, friend. Welcome to my part of the ocean. Actually, we want to turn the other way. Dude, look at that firepower. You can't repel firepower this magnitude. Fool of a took. All the movie phrases, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, mate. That's right. Is he going in for a ram? I don't know. I don't I don't want to get rammed, I'll tell you that much. Oh gosh. We gotta start moving. We gotta start moving. I don't wanna suffer a ram. No, he's not gonna ram. He should have. He should have seen the writing on the wall. He should have someone else actually. Incoming torpedoes! Don't kill my prize. He's mine. Oh shit! What's up, friendly torpedoes? He missed those. Alright. No, torpedoes! Oh, we didn't get the kill, man. Who's left? Oh, I don't even think we're gonna make this turn. That's a shame. It's the last destroyer over there. And he wasted him. Now where's he gonna be going? He's gonna be going over there, right? So we could reverse, if he pops out, shoot him. Pretty good. 112 hits. Game's probably gonna be over. He's at 680 health. And he's got a Chester bearing down on him a full health. That's probably it right there. And it is. So ladies and gentlemen, first game in the Aurora. It was a pleasure, especially when you got your 1.5 victory and a premium ship. Uh, XP boost, but I mean, what are we gonna really, you know, <laughs> upgrade with? Um, two ships killed, four bases defended, four different bases, no, just four times? Still understanding that. How do we do? Top of the board, not bad. Mr. Frank Fontaine in his Wakatake did pretty good too. So let's take a look at this. All HE, 32,000. Um,. Now, it was a tier 3 game, so I didn't bother switching AP, but normally I like to switch back and forth. But, let's see, I think that's what, an average of, I think, maybe somewhere around 300 damage a shot? Not entirely sure, but we really fired at a lot of people. We critically damaged a couple people. 3, 5, 6, 7 criticals two kills and just shot at a bunch of ships man we did it now luckily there were no planes out there because this thing does not have the best but yeah so the reasons for playing the aurora was that i figured it was more different 
than the Murmansk was. The Murmansk is basically an Omaha. Aurora, I mean, you could definitely make the argument that the Aurora is basically a uh, St. Louis. But, um... 14 152 millimeter guns. It's only got six 7.62 millimeter machine guns. Uh, concealment's not too bad. It's got a 65 rating. But hey, man, you're a cruiser. Okay, so this one was 22,500 health. Let's compare the St. Louis's health. All right. 27,000. 29,000. The St. Louis definitely has an advantage in terms of hull points. Interesting. I mean, it is a little bigger and beefier. Propulsion, maximum speed, 22 knots. I think it has a better maximum speed, even. Um, it's got secondary guns, too. Which the Aurora does not have. They're both tier 3s. And they're awfully similar in terms of primaries. Eight 7.62 millimeter MGs. What about pre? Loses some turrets. Okay, I guess once it's fully upgraded, I think it might be better, actually, than the Aurora. The Aurora only gets two upgrade spots as well. Max speed 20 knots, so it's slower and has less health. Um, rate of fire, seven rounds per minute. I th actually, I think I have my St. Louis right here. 7.5, so it's got a little bit better. Maximum HE, 1400. Maximum AP, 3300. Let's take a look, let's take a look. What was that again? 1400, 3300. It's got the guns hit less. Interesting to see that a uh, fully upgraded, at least, St. Louis, which is a non premium ship for the United States Navy, does better than the premium Aurora. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I got lots of ships. Let me know what you'd like to see play next. All right, let me know in the comments below. I thank you all for watching. Uh, pull the trigger on the like button. And you know what? See you guys soon.